Hello Taurus, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the energies between you and the person that you have been dealing with or will be dealing with, as well as the energies in the near future. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot resonate with every Taurus watching. So take what applies to you, what resonates for you. All right, let's jump right in for Taurus. Angels, guides, messages, guidance, please. For Taurus in love. For Taurus. Oh God. What do they need to know, Spirit? What do they need to know regarding love, regarding the person you're dealing with? Okay, so currently the energies are the Six of Swords and the World. On your side, we have the High Priestess and the Three of Pentacles. On their side, we have the Knight of Cups and the Sun. And these are the near future energies here at the bottom. Overall energy, bottom of the deck, Nine of Cups. So when I see all of these energies together, especially here, I'm thinking that there's a new cycle, uh, something ending for sure with the Six of Swords and the world. Six of Swords is all about leaving the past behind, and I think someone's doing that. Um, and for some reason, that's tying into a wish being granted. They're being given emotional satisfaction here with the Nine of Cups. It's like someone's very happy with the fact that things are moving in this way or happening in this way. Let me move these down here. On your side, we have the High Priestess and the Three of Pentacles. So mm, maybe your intuition is guiding you here, Taurus, or there's something hidden that you are trying to work out. Um, could be uh, with a third person here, like maybe you have, um, you're curious about a third person. And your person here has the Knight of Cups. This is um, expressing emotions. It could be that they are expressing an apology as well. Um, the Sun is telling me that perhaps this is something that's almost like shedding light on something. Um, the opposite of the High Priestess, actually. Maybe this person's revealing feelings or shedding light on certain feelings that they have for you. And I don't know, I feel like... Um, Maybe this is part of what's going on between you at this time. Maybe this is somebody that's apologizing for a departure or expressing their feelings after a departure of some sort. Let's get some more energies here. Tell me more about the energies for Taurus in love. Energies for Taurus in love. For the energies for Taurus and love. Balancing act. You're juggling multiple things at once. This could also be indecision. Looking inward, reflection, solitude, planning. Hmm. That's like your intuition, listening to your intuition. What else? Okay, I got two. Yeah, inner voice. There's something here about like listening to your heart, your intuition, that's important. Coming together. Destiny has brought you together. So Taurus, when I see all of these energies here, I feel like someone's coming to a decision after some thought and after listening to their intuition. And it has to do with a particular partnership, coming together with someone, a reunion of some sort. We'll have to see what all of this is about. Let's get my clarifying deck here. Can you give me some insight, please, for Taurus? This is bothering me. <laughs> okay, hold on. Did I do this right? Yes. For Taurus. Guidance messages, please. 
does Taurus need to know? This deck is so small. What do we need to know? Tell me about the Six of Swords. Let's start there, okay? Wow, the Two of Cups came out reverse. So right away I'm thinking that there's a separation here of some sort. It could be with you, Taurus, or it could be outside of you. Hold on, my deck is... Oh, no! I shuffled wrong. Hold on, guys. I'm going to keep that Two of Cups reverse, but I completely, like, shuffled my deck wrong. So I have reversals in there. Okay, um, they're telling me that's okay. All right, party continues. We'll just do reversals if we need to here. Can I get one more for this Six of Swords? Usually with my clarifying deck, I like to keep it all upright because I get, you know, it's easier to interpret clearer messages, all that. Um, but, oh well. The show must go on. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Ace of Cups reverse. Okay, so I feel like um, someone's leaving a partnership, like I was saying. So what's the world about? I think that there was a separation and it was difficult. Tell me about the world. For some reason, this is affecting your connection now. What do we need to know about the world? Page of Cups. Yeah, so I feel like there's um this Knight of Cups, Page of Cups energy. I think that someone wants to apologize to you, Taurus. And for some reason, this is the opportunity to begin a new cycle here. This could also be somebody apologizing for whatever ending has taken place. I see it both ways. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. What do we need to know about this Nine of Cups? Seven of Cups reverse. Okay, so someone has made a choice. Okay, someone has made a choice and I feel like this is a wish being granted, the fact that this choice has been made. Now I'm wondering if there's a third party because I feel like, I feel like someone, and let's just flip it as if this is your person that's making this choice because remember, both of your energies are here, so it could be you making this decision or your person. But I'm going to think of this as if it's your person. For some reason, you're happy with their choice, which tells me you were chosen. You were chosen out of, I don't know, various choices with the Seven of Cups here. Let's get some insight into you and this person. Maybe that'll give me a little more clarity here. Tell me about Taurus and this other person's spirit. But you have the High Priestess. I feel like you're in the dark here. It's like you're not, you don't know something or there's something secretive that's happening. Tell me about Taurus. Now, Taurus, I have you on the left and you have your person on the right, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about Taurus. What do we need to know about Taurus? Courtship, the beginning of a connection, really. Courtship is about, you know, taking things slower, the more traditional route, getting to know each other, dating. Tell me about the person that Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know? about their energies. What do we need to know about this other person's energies? Main male, masculine energy. Bottom of the deck, yeah, mature man. Okay, so this is a masculine energy. Family room. So, hmm. Family room is really a card about intimacy. You feel connected to someone, you feel comfortable with someone, you're able to be your true self with someone with this family room card. I don't know, Taurus, something's up. I actually want to use a hidden truth oracle. I'm starting to think that there's something, another person here. 
Can I get some insight, please, into the energies before, between Taurus and this other person? Some insight, please. Into the energy. Tell me about Taurus. Tell me about Taurus, please. So many things remind me of you. I replay our conversations over and over. So Taurus, I feel like um, you're thinking about this person and they're not around because you're replaying conversations over and over. So maybe you're not communicating with this person. Maybe this is someone from your past. Tell me about this person that Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person? Hold on. It's time for me to heal now. I wish I had treated you better. Okay, so this person has some sort of regrets. I wish I had treated you better. Bottom of the deck, I want to tell you how I feel. So that's that Knight of Cups. Yeah, that's... I was kind of picking up that there's a reveal here. I think your person's going to reveal how they feel. Um, and I also feel like they didn't treat you the way that you deserved to be treated, Taurus. And they regret that. They wish they had treated you better. It's time for me to heal now. Interesting. Whenever I see this card, I think there's been heartache, disappointment, and someone is still healing from that. Also, tower moments. Um, I think of someone that's been through a tower and they're still kind of working through it. So let's get some clarity on your energies here. Tell me about the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? Why is the High Priestess here? The Wheel of Fortune reverse. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Something's not working out in your eyes. Or things are at a standstill for you. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Five of Wands reverse. Working together, working out a problem. Um, Ten of Wands. I feel like you want to resolve an issue with this person. Maybe you want to reconnect after a separation. Maybe you want to overcome whatever conflict you had with them. You know, come to a resolution. Maybe there was drama. Multiple people involved here. Can I get one more for the Three of Pentacles? What do we need to know about this Three of Pentacles? The High Priestess again. So... I think that you didn't have closure. There's something unsaid. Something that's not working out here. Maybe you regret what you've said. I play our conversations over and over. So many things remind me of you. Maybe you have regrets as well, Taurus. It's like you both have regrets and are thinking of each other. I think your intuition is probably pulling at you, tugging at you, saying that this can be resolved. And your person has the Knight of Cups, so tell me about the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Justice Reverse, Libra Energy. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Six of Cups. I think your person wants to apologize yeah, this is a clear apology here. They want to apologize for the past. And I also feel like they want to apologize because this was not fair to you. Whatever happened, they know it wasn't fair to you. Um, they didn't treat you the way that you deserved, Taurus. And they recognize that. This is not someone that's like pretending. Ten of Pentacles, wow. You could have been in a commitment with this person. I feel like for some of you, I'm still picking up that third party energy, even though it's not showing itself in the cards. Tell me about the sun. 
my god, that's a lot. Okay. Four of Swords Reverse. Yeah, so I feel like this is someone that is waking up or um, opening up the lines of communication again. The Sun Reverse. Interesting, the Sun Reverse is clarifying the Sun. Yeah, because there wasn't... Something was hidden. They had closed themselves off to you or hidden their true feelings. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. This is about balance, harmony. And the Eight of Swords Reverse is about overcoming fear. So I think that this person is coming forward. I think they're going to reveal their feelings to you. Two of Wands Reverse. Seven of Wands Reverse. Knight of Pentacles Reverse. And the Ten of Swords. The problem is that there's another ending here. Or the ending between you is a problem. I think this person cannot offer you something stable right now. That's probably why we have it's time for me to heal now. I think that they went through a tower moment or something difficult and they've chosen a different path, but they're still kind of like reeling from what happened. I think that they were fighting a battle somewhere else or dealing with difficult personal issues, especially if they were with a third, uh, third party. If they were with a third party, that Ten of Swords can symbolize that that's over. It's like they, they left something here behind and that opens a door. I do see that. Um, let me get one more for this Nine of Cups. Can I get one more for this Nine of Cups, please? Why is the Nine of Cups here? Eight of Wands. Yeah, there's like movement forward after a decision has been made and I think it'll be communicated to you. The hangman. Again, I'm getting energies. Yeah, three of wands reverse and the hangman. Despite the fact that you are the choice, I feel like this person is choosing you over something else. Um, or whatever choice they've made that's maybe they're not choosing you, but they're making a choice that inevitably, inevitably you know what I mean, <laughs> leads them to you. But it's not going to be quick. There's going to be a, like a snag, like a slowing down of the, of like, things there's like something else here that's preventing your person from actually giving you something uh like an offer because all i see here is cups right emotional displays um rebalancing i see maybe communication with that eight of wands but that's about it so let's see what can you expect in the near future wow the six of wands beautiful energy the Five of Wands, see? And the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like you're getting some sort of indication that there will be success eventually, but it's not going to be without some struggles here with the Five of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. It's like there's there's like a battle ahead or um, conflicts ahead. Tell me about the Five of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. About the five of wands and the five of pentacles, please. Four of cups reverse. Tell me about the five of wands and the five of pentacles. This is a choice being made again. Page of wands reverse. Okay, yeah, the hangman. I feel like your person is committed to choosing you to being open to a reunion with you i think that there is a possibility for a reunion with this person however they're stuck somewhere else or dealing with something else that kind of is preventing them from really moving forward towards you and this could be anything it could be a third party it could be family members, it could be long distance, it could be a job, it could be anything that's kind of preventing them from moving forward. I don't think it's fear, because the Eight of Swords shows up reverse for them. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Okay. Ten of Swords. Yeah, there's going to be like an ending here in the near future. Six of Swords, Ten of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Reverse. Yeah, it's like your person cannot put in the effort or energy or time into this that they would want to. Yeah, Three of Wands, Reverse. I feel like your person is stuck. They're going to tell you how they feel, and I think they'll reveal their feelings to you with this Knight of Cups and the Sun. At least this is their intention. 
But I don't, I don't think the feelings are the problem. I think they're going to, they feel regret over how they treated you and they want to talk to you, to tell you how they feel. But I feel like at the same time, there's still a cycle, a cycle that needs to close here. I feel like you'll be happy to hear from them, but then it's like the real work begins, right? There's going to be a waiting period here, Taurus. So that's what I have for you at this time. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading, Taurus. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. If this resonated for you, feel free to leave a comment down below. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.